So, so to confirm, you're saying that the speakerphone conversations, they don't seem concerning to you because there was no specifics about business, and it just seemed like it was clear about... that it was clear the, that it was as part of the daily conversations that Hunter Biden had with his father, um, and it was and and sounded like most of the time, uh, now President Biden didn't even know who the people he was at dinner. He was just asked to say hello. Uh, and he would, you know, talk about the, the way he described it several times. They asked over and over and over. He described what the weather was, how, uh, how, what's going on on your end. He, the, the witness was very, very consistent that none of those conversations ever had to do with any business dealings or transactions. They were purely what he called casual conversations. Okay. So you're probably following this close story. What do you think is going on here? Is anything going to happen? Okay, so is Hunter Biden a crook? Generally speaking, yes. Okay, okay so first of all, he's apparently a Ukrainian gas expert and one of the best artists in the country. <laughs> okay, now, yeah. now are people paying him because his last name is Biden? Of course, yeah. of course, you'd be a nut to say that that's not the case, right? So that's not the question to me because I don't give a goddamn about Hunter Biden. The question is, did Joe Biden do anything wrong? And so the $5 million thing, totally made up. They got no evidence. The guy comes in and goes, nope, there's no $5 million payment. And that original uh, document was somebody saying secondhand, I heard somebody else say it. I don't even believe it, right? So, okay, so that's not true. So then, by the way, when they got his famous laptop and they finally looked at it, there's some messages in there. We did the story on, on Young Turks where he says, look, don't promise that a dad can do anything because he won't. It's actually exculpatory, but right-wing media never talks about that part of the laptop, okay? Mm -hmm. So in this case, the 20 calls, Biden calls all of his kids and all of his grandkids every day or something like that. And by the way, I think he overdoes it. Okay, I got a kid from Scranton. I got it. Okay, oh, you're a family man, except he wasn't calling his seventh grandchild. Anyways, so is Hunter Biden doing a cheesy thing where, hey, we're on a business call. Hey, look, this is my dad, Joe Biden. And they talk about the weather and go, see, see, I know Joe Biden. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what he's doing. Is it cheesy? Super cheesy. Potentially illegal? Maybe, right? But is Joe Biden helping him? There's been zero evidence that Joe Biden helped him. In fact, on the laptop, it says, Pop won't help us. Mm-hmm. Right, so don't promise it. The old speakerphone deal. Hey, yeah. uh, vice did president. The, did you see the text exchange between the two, v- Vinny? Were you following this closely? I was, what? Well, I was just following. Listen, just watching this whole thing, and I, I hate to go back to. If can you imagine if Trump was doing this? This is just showing. Oh, I can. The he two did. Two-tiered justice. But if you think about it, we now we have bank punch, records, punch wire transfers, text. text messages, emails. The Hunter Devin Archer, who testified that the brand, the big guy, and the chairman is is. His father, yeah. credible whistleblowers that spent hours talking about extortion, treason, bribery, everything, right? The recorded phone call with Joe Biden and Poroshenko and that video that we saw for years about him bra- bragging, firing Victor Shokin. And now we wonder why. Now now you wonder why that impeachment, uh, they impeached Trump about Burisma. That's all Trump was saying, investigate about this, what's happening right now. No. And they impeached him for it. Guys, look, if you had evidence against Joe Biden, I, I look, they I think do Biden, have I, it. I, no, they listen, do have it. No, hold on. Let me explain. If you had evidence, I, I'd be thrilled. I think Joe Biden's going to lose. And I, and, I, and I think he's way too conservative. I think he lies all the time. I'd rather have him out, okay? That's my political leaning. But besides that, I, if you just showed me evidence and I love the guy, I'd still say yes. But look at all the text messages, and none of them do they ever say Joe Biden is going to do this. They never say it because he never did it. If you bring me evidence of that, I'll switch in a second. And then people are like, oh, are you turning Republican? No, I just care about facts, right? How, how, how did, then why did, and so, by the way, you said, imagine if Trump did it. Are you kidding me? Trump leaves office. Remember, they let uh, Mohammed bin Salman chop up a guy, right? And then Jared Kushner gets a $2 billion deal. A $2 billion deal, okay? And then Trump gets millions of dollars from the Live Golf Tournament, also from the Saudis. And we're not having that conversation. By the way, the Democrats suck at this. If I was the Democrats, I'd be like, you're doing a hearing on... impeached them twice. They're great at this. They've indicted them 50, 60 times. I mean, it's like nonstop. No, I don't... Look, I think they're super soft, and they only do it to Trump. They they love other Republicans. They they love establishment. Again, they don't like anti-establishment. Let's just get like a Trump. Yeah, but if I was the Democrats and you did a Hunter Biden hearing, I'd go to the Senate and do a Jared Kushner uh, hearing. I'd say, where's the $2 billion? Show, how much money are you going to make from the $2 billion? What did you do? Tell, show me your track record. Because Jared Kushner has a terrible track record in business. 
He one of the worst real estate deals in American history, 666 Fifth Avenue. He's a total miserable failure in business. Show me how you got that $2 billion from the Saudis. Let's have a conversation about real problems in America. And by the way, that doesn't foreclose you having legitimate questions about Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden definitely did all those stuff, all those things, right? And if you show me evidence on Joe, okay. But right now, you don't have it. You don't have it. In fact, the Comer and, and Jim Jordan came out and talked to Hannity right after the hearings. And Comer's like, I mean, we hope, we hope it could be something. I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. No, dude, you created the smoke. So there's plenty of fire on Hunter Biden, but there isn't any on Joe.